good day for Texas. Four wins. Um, talk about that 409 flat uh, race. Was that the plan to take it out that way all along? Um, yeah, I'd say so. I, I guess like my plan usually is to take it out, get out first, and uh, just stay there as long as possible. So. Were you worried about Mitch DeRigo uh, making a move on you the way he did uh, on the field uh, in the prelims this morning? Um, yeah, I mean, I had it. I knew what he did, and I had that in the back of my mind. But uh, I guess I just held the confidence that I could keep him from passing it. Talk about the – was there any effect of uh, Clark Smith's uh, unfortunate morning? Did um, it, what did he say to you guys? Uh, he didn't really talk much about it. Um, we all kind of know Clark, and uh, you know, just sometimes that happens to him. Uh, I guess I thought about it, but uh, it didn't. I tried not to let it affect me for my 500. Um, hopefully, I'm sure he'll have a better swim for the mile in, uh, next year. Did you have any expectations for yourself coming into this into this race? Um, I had the goal of like this year. My goal is to go under 410. So uh, that was. Just, I had that in my mind. Was it your goal to win this race? Um, not at first, but uh, you know, Clark uh, not doing so well. I guess it kind of made me realize that it was a bigger possibility to do that. Eddie said that you and Clark were great training partners for one another, and that you uh, fed off him. He said actually you chased him through most of the workouts and yeah. applauded your uh, stick to itiveness. Did that feel accurate? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely, Clark's a great partner to have. Uh, he's just a workhorse in the water. Uh, I've never met anybody or seen anybody that trains like him, so it was a great honor almost to uh, train next to him and with him. Can you talk to us a little bit about the relay last night? Um, did you expect that out of yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that was just incredible. I mean, um, I don't really have any other words to describe it. Uh, it was, you know, first, uh, I know last year they just changed the order of the events, so I know I think uh, some of the guys, all the guys, the rest of the guys were uh, pretty grateful for that, um, and uh, it was just incredible. Did you did you have a goal time coming into the meet in the 200? Um, not really. I mean, I went, I kind of, I guess I kind of got, the goal that I had talked about with Ed at the beginning of the year uh, at Invite and at Big 12s. Um, so I guess I just got to think about that a little bit. But uh, I never even imagined I would go 130. And did that kind of give you confidence going into today? Yeah, definitely. I mean, all the coaches and all my teammates were like, you know, you've done, you'll be fine in the five. Like, you, you went 130, like, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> did. Uh... Uh, you had an extraordinary first day, let's be honest. Uh, and uh, what's the team mood uh, going into uh, this evening? Um, Me meaning now, going forward to day two. Oh, it's <laughs> just hype, I guess. I mean, uh, you know, some. I think I know a lot of the guys didn't swim as well as they wanted to this morning, and uh, I think they were a little down about that. But uh, after tonight, I think. We just turned that attitude around, and now we're all, I think we're ready to go for the rest of the meet. Anything else? That's good. Thanks, Tommy.